Hello everyone. Taking the uncharted path often means you're on your own, and sometimes that's just what you need. Sigma females are naturally independent, curious and tough, which sets them on their own special journey right from the start. While most children stick close to their friends and try to blend in, young Sigma females usually take their own unique path, quietly challenging the normal ways of childhood. Research suggests that kids who are naturally independent and reflective tend to become very self-reliant and confident as adults. However, it's not an easy path. Growing up as a Sigma female is like getting a behind-the-scenes look at life. It reveals the secret motives, unspoken rules, and harsh truths that most people would rather not see. Their childhood isn't about trying to fit in. It's more about dealing with the challenge of being different in ways that are hard for others to grasp. This might mean they're seen as the odd one in class, deeply interested in Roman mythology, or the kid who keeps asking, how does the sky get its blue color, over and over. Number one, they are made to act like grown-ups too soon. From a young age, Sigma females often feel the heavy burden of adult expectations, turning their childhoods into something like early adulthood before they're even good at simple math. It seems the world looks at their self-reliance and grown-up behavior and thinks, great, a little adult. People notice their calm demeanor and think they're ready for more duties than other kids. Whether it's dealing with feelings, sorting out disagreements, or facing serious issues that usually only adults deal with. Teachers often say, you're so mature for your age, which really means, I'm counting on you to manage things here, okay? Parents might view her as a dependable kid, ready to take on family challenges or grasp grown-up troubles. Friends might turn to her for wise advice, even when she feels just as confused as they are. From a very young age, Sigma females often find themselves saddled with responsibilities that feel more like an unwanted job than a pat on the back. They are always expected to act more maturely than others, to forgive when they are wronged, and to take charge when no one else steps up. By their teenage years, they are already experts in meeting adult standards that many of their friends are unaware of. This role becomes so ingrained in them that they start believing they must always be the dependable one, even if they don't feel up to it. This constant pressure can be tiring, as any small mistake or vulnerable moment feels huge, like failing an important unspoken exam. After all, there's nothing more draining than being the only one acting like an adult, while everyone else gets to enjoy just being young. Number two, they often feel like they don't belong there. From a young age, Sigma females often feel as though they are outsiders. It's not because they can't make friends or don't want to. They just follow their own unique pace that often doesn't match with others. While other children get together over new fads or team activities, Sigma females are likely busy pursuing their own hobbies, thinking ahead, or just observing the world with a critical view. This natural tendency to keep to themselves can create a silent divide, making them stand out in ways that can be both freeing and lonely. Consequently, they might get known as distant or unbothered and unfazed. Teachers may think of them as solitary and peers might call them the silent type or even strange. They seem to have an innate ability to detect silliness and pointless social conflicts, and most of the time they prefer to avoid these rather than get involved. However, this method has its drawbacks. It often makes them feel isolated from their peers. While others form tight-knit groups with ease, Sigma females find it challenging to see where they belong. This sense of being an outsider is particularly tough because, at heart, they do wish to connect. They just won't settle for superficial interactions. They tend to choose deep, 
meaningful relationships over having many acquaintances, which might result in having just a few close friends who truly understand them, if they're fortunate. They long for genuine, deep and truthful interactions, qualities that are rare in typical school settings. And yes, this might make them appear puzzling or even a bit daunting, but more often it means they are slightly out of sync with others, like the one student who brings a profound book to a talent contest instead of performing a flashy act. Number three, they always have to explain their reasons. Sigma females always ask, how come? It's like their way of life. Right from the beginning, they have a natural drive to look deeper into everything they encounter. When they have to obey a rule, they're curious about its purpose. If they receive advice, they'll question the motives behind it. And if something doesn't feel right to them, they'll examine it as thoroughly as a detective working on an important case. However, there's a problem. Not many people like to be questioned, especially by a young person. Their constant questioning can become a bit of a hassle. This skeptical nature often doesn't sit well with those in charge. Teachers might find it tiring, parents could feel opposed, and classmates might not understand it. While other children might just accept things as they are, a Sigma female is likely off to the side, analyzing the situation as if it's a puzzle that she needs to put together. She's not being troublesome on purpose, she just really needs to understand things thoroughly. However, this deep thinking makes people see her as the child who thinks too much. There's also a hidden problem, knowing more than she might want to. Her constant search for explanations lets her see things other kids don't notice, like when rules are unfair or why people act a certain way. This insight reveals both the good and the bad, which can be unsettling. It feels like she's holding a burden of knowledge that wasn't hers to take on. Despite the challenges and frustrations, her endless questioning continues to drive her, quietly challenging her to not just accept things as they are. Number four, teachers think they don't care about school. Sigma female students sometimes appear to be daydreaming during class, staring off into space while the teacher covers the material. It's not that they aren't interested or are being lazy. Their minds are simply exploring other areas. These students think about the bigger picture. They're curious about the reasons and methods behind what they're learning, not just the facts. However, teachers don't always recognize this. Instead, they might think these Sigma females are just not paying attention or are uninterested, as if they are bored. But in reality, Sigma females are often thoughtful students who are looking for a compelling reason to engage with the subject matter. They may not show interest in a straightforward lesson on fractions, but if you connect it to something significant, like cooking or dividing time, they will participate eagerly. Unfortunately, this depth of thought is sometimes mistaken by teachers as disinterest or defiance. The mind of a Sigma female is always buzzing, but she's picky about what she tunes into. If a subject doesn't grab her interest, she'd rather zone out than pretend to be engaged just to fit in. This often leads to misunderstandings and tension in class. Teachers might think she's being rebellious or not respecting their work, which can end up with her being labeled as troublesome or unfocused. Ironically, the frustration is felt on both sides. The Sigma female doesn't understand why her teachers can't see things her way, and the teachers wish she would just pay attention like the other students. Despite these conflicts, Sigma females excel at choosing what to listen to, focusing on what's important to them and ignoring the rest. It might not guarantee top grades, but it's a valuable life skill, knowing what to concentrate on and what to ignore. And that slight roll of the eyes when they're criticized, that's just their way of saying, 
I hear you, but I'm picking my battles wisely. Number 5. They start to doubt why people do things. Sigma females develop a sharp sense for understanding why people do what they do from a young age. They notice things that other kids often overlook, such as the real meaning behind a compliment or when someone's gestures don't match their words. This makes them really good at spotting what others are truly after, even when it's hidden. Their interest in understanding people's behaviors slowly turns into a habit of cautious doubt. They always wonder, what does this person really want? Growing up thinking this way isn't easy. For example, when a friend suddenly asks to borrow something trendy, a Sigma female doesn't just give it away. She wonders why her friend really wants it. This doubt makes relationships tricky because they often doubt others' intentions. While this trait helps them steer clear of tricky situations, it also makes it hard for them to trust others, always looking out for hidden agendas. This careful way of interacting can make them feel lonely, as it's difficult for them to completely trust others, even those who truly care for them. Despite these difficulties, their keen sense of perception acts like a shield, helping them navigate through a world where not everyone means well. Ultimately, their ability to see the real motives behind others' actions becomes a key skill, influencing how they relate to the setting they're in. Number six, they experience deep and powerful friendships. For Sigma females, friendships are deep and meaningful. They skip the small talk and dive into meaningful conversations right away. When they connect with someone, they give their full attention energy and heart to the relationship and they expect the same in return. However, most people aren't prepared for this kind of intense friendship. While a Sigma female might want to explore deep topics, her friend might just want to talk about the latest TV show or a new video game. This difference can overwhelm others and leave the Sigma female feeling frustrated. She's the type of friend who remembers every little thing, checks in to see how her friends are truly feeling, and is there for them in tough times. But when her friends don't reciprocate with the same intensity, she might feel like she's putting in more than she's getting back. She often feels deep sadness because she cares so much about her friendships, especially when friends grow apart or aren't as loyal as she is. However, she never stops giving her all. It's just how she is. Sigma females prefer meaningful and true connections, choosing one powerful friendship over ten superficial ones. This choice, though, can leave them feeling let down and tired, questioning why they always seem to be the ones keeping the friendship alive. Sometimes, they might half-heartedly say they're too much for most people, but in their hearts, they wouldn't change a thing. Her strong way of forming friendships can make her feel misunderstood, but it also strengthens her. She realizes not everyone will match her intensity, and she learns to accept this. The friendships she maintains are incredibly deep, creating ties that she believes will endure forever. Number seven, they constantly push themselves to do better. Sigma females have a deep and unstoppable desire to make themselves better all the time. They set very high goals for themselves, usually without anyone asking them to do so. While some children are okay with just doing okay, Sigma females are always trying to reach a higher personal standard. This drive to excel comes not from wanting to impress others, but from a strong inner voice that constantly finds areas for her to enhance. Whether it's getting top marks on exams or learning a new ability, she is always on a journey to improve, understand and change. However, living under this kind of pressure is tough. There's a feeling of pride, certainly, but also a draining burden because she never feels truly satisfied. 
while others might celebrate a minor success, the Sigma female is already analyzing her results, thinking about what she could have done better. When she gets a 99% on a test, she immediately worries about the 1% she didn't get. She's always the hardest on herself, which makes her feel like no success is ever completely perfect. There's always something she could do better. This attitude can be good and bad. On the good side, it drives her to improve and achieve a lot, which helps her become confident and independent. But on the bad side, it might wear her out before she's even a teenager. It's tough to relax when your own thoughts keep telling you about all the things you could improve. She might make jokes about being a perfectionist in training, but it really is like a non-stop job with no breaks. Ultimately, this constant pressure makes her very tough and skilled, but she also learns early that always being so hard on herself might not be the most nourishing way to live. Number eight, people usually ignore their concepts. For Sigma females, often feeling ignored is almost a normal experience. From a young age, their creative suggestions are frequently overlooked, similar to old homework. This can be really frustrating. While other students may get attention for their incomplete ideas, the Sigma female develops clever, thoughtful ideas that nobody notices. It's as though she's invisible in the classroom, her distinct insights drowned out by the louder voices around her. This repeated disregard can be really discouraging. When she finally feels brave enough to express her ideas, she hopes for some recognition, only to be met with indifferent looks or quick nods before attention shifts back to those who speak up more. It's like planning a surprise party that nobody attends. She knows her ideas are valuable. She just wishes others could recognize that too. As time goes by these, experiences make her wary of voicing her opinions. What's the point if they'll just be overlooked again? So, she picks carefully when to share her thoughts, usually saving her best ideas for the few who really understand her. This makes her contributions even more special, because when she does share, it's typically something deep and worthwhile. But Sigma females also become tough. They find ways to express themselves, like through writing, art, or just by being with a small group of friends who value what they think. They realize their value doesn't come from widespread praise, but from the depth of their ideas. Even if often overlooked, Sigma females know they have a wealth of insights to unveil, one brilliant idea at a time. And honestly, who wouldn't love a friend who's a bundle of thought-provoking talks ready to unfold? Number nine, they start to prefer being alone at a young age. From an early age, Sigma females often find beauty in being alone, viewing it as a peaceful haven instead of something negative. While many children are eager to blend in or pursue friendships, these girls enjoy spending time by themselves, usually choosing a captivating book or a creative art project over the loud mess of group activities. It seems they have a natural guide inside them that steers them towards deep thinking and creativity, making them feel more comfortable in their own thoughts than in a busy playground. This preference for being alone might seem strange to other kids who think having lots of friends is important. While some rush to every party, a Sigma female loves the quiet of her own place. She might spend hours dreaming up complex tales, drawing detailed pictures, or wandering in nature while her peers are busy trying to outdo each other in loudness. But here's the thing, while some might think she's lonely, she sees it as a chance to recharge and delve into her thoughts without distractions. Still, this choice can cause misunderstandings. People often confuse her silence with shyness or being distant, not understanding that she's really happy on her own. 
Some friends might think she should follow the popular things everyone else is doing, not realizing she's choosing her own unique way of living. Honestly, while others are caught up in arguments and groups, she's getting really good at enjoying time by herself. Starting to like being alone early on gives Sigma females a strong ability to depend on themselves. They start to see the beauty in solitude and discover happiness in calm moments. As they get older, they use this skill to do well on their own, leading to a rewarding life where they know that being alone is not scary. It's just a time to rest, be creative, and truly be who they are. Number 10. Their unique hobbies can make them feel isolated. From a young age, Sigma females often lean into hobbies that don't quite match what everyone else is into. They might love studying old civilizations, enjoy writing computer programs, or like listening to unusual types of music. These special interests make them stand out, which can be both intriguing and isolating. While other kids might chat about the newest fashion or popular online dance trends, a Sigma female is more content exploring her unique interests, becoming an expert in areas most people aren't familiar with. This difference can sometimes make social interactions a bit uncomfortable. Imagine this scenario. While everyone is connecting through the latest film or video game, She's eagerly sharing details about her beloved philosophy or her recent research in history. Usually, her enthusiasm is received with polite nods and quick changes in conversation. It's not that her friends are being unkind. They simply don't share her excitement, making her feel like the odd one out at a gathering where she mistakenly ended up at the wrong event. This often leaves her feeling lonely as her unique interests make it hard to relate to others. While she loves having lively discussions about her newest hobbies, many kids her age are still deciding which ice cream flavor they like most. The good part? Her unique hobbies help her build a strong personal identity and confidence in her differences. She learns to celebrate her unique traits instead of trying to fit in, preparing her for a rich and satisfying future. While others talk about the latest fads, she's busy collecting an impressive list of little-known facts that will dazzle everyone at social gatherings. After all, who wouldn't want to wow a crowd with the fun fact that bananas are berries, but strawberries aren't? Number 11. Their creativity is their secret language. Sigma females often have an innate gift for creativity that serves as their secret language, a way to express themselves where words may fail. From a young age, they're the ones creating elaborate fantasy worlds, drawing detailed sketches, or writing stories that go beyond the typical school assignments. This creative streak isn't just a hobby. It's a crucial part of who they are, offering an escape and a method to process their complex inner worlds. While others might take up activities for mere fun or to fit in, Sigma females use their artistic talents to communicate their deepest thoughts and feelings, sometimes even before they can fully articulate them verbally. This intense relationship with creativity can sometimes make them feel even more isolated, as their peers might not understand the depth or purpose behind their projects. In group settings, while others may prefer straightforward tasks or games, Sigma females are already planning their next big creation, often lost in thought about their art. This can be seen as aloof or odd, but it also fosters a profound personal satisfaction and a sense of accomplishment that most children their age seldom experience. Over time, they learn that their ability to create is not just a means of expression, but a powerful tool for making connections with those few who truly appreciate their vision and depth. Number 12. A resilient spirit against conformity. From the very start, Sigma females are somewhat resistant to conformity, 
This isn't a stubborn refusal, but a natural inclination towards authenticity. In a world where children are often taught to follow the crowd, Sigma females stand out by instinctively knowing that their path must be their own. They question trends, challenge norms, and often take stands on issues long before their peers even consider such matters. This can lead to moments of loneliness or misunderstanding, as standing up for one's beliefs isn't always the popular choice among young friends. Yet, this resilience against conformity builds a strong character foundation. It teaches Sigma, females, the value of integrity and the importance of staying true to oneself, even when it's difficult. As they grow, they not only inspire those around them, but also attract like-minded individuals who admire and resonate with their courage and authenticity. Their journey isn't about rejecting others, but about embracing their true selves, which often leads to a life rich with meaningful relationships and purposeful living. This spirit of non-conformity ensures that they not only navigate life on their terms, but also lead by example, showing that it's not only possible to be different, but it can be profoundly rewarding. Thanks everyone for watching. Catch you in the next video. Bye, stay blessed, and as always, until next time.